Hi, I'm Bill Gertz, and this is today's edition of The Gertz File. Today we're going to be talking about the Benghazi security scandal involving the investigation into what happened on September 11th when terrorists attacked the U.S. diplomatic compound in Benghazi, killing the U.S. ambassador to Libya and four other, three other Americans. Today, after being relatively quiet uh, for over the holidays, uh, the, the scandal is back on the front pages again, this time with U.N. Ambassador Susan Rice, who's making the rounds on Capitol Hill in a last-ditch effort to try and save her nomination, her likely nomination, as the coming Secretary of Defense. Republican senators aren't buying it. Uh, today, Senator Lindsey Graham came out of a meeting with her and said that he still has more questions about what her role was in providing misleading information in talk shows on Sunday television shows days after the attack. For more, go to the Washington Free Beacon website. Uh, another important story that I'd like to bring your attention to is a story by Adam Credo that looks at how the International Atomic Energy Agency was a victim of a hacking attack that disclosed the information of top officials of the uh, European-based nuclear watchdog agency. Again, go to the Washington Free Beacon website for more on these stories. Thank <laughs> you.